ابراہیم is the first CMP of 2022. Abhishek, Kisam, Lisa, Adirul, Abhilash, Sabit, Asad, Anish, Amit, Alvin, Neha, Pradeep, Amit, Rashmi, Amana, Uzair, Rash, Ghulam, Muhammad, Aarti, Pawan, Tariq, Iktidar, Duman, Mandar, Muslim, Nij, Vaseem, Aaj, Usman, Afzal, Mateen, Chitra, Naveen, Salaj, Deepak, Karal, Limin, Bilal, Salman, Sayyid, Alam, Nadeen, Ujjan, Shahzeb, Lata, Chandra, Hassan, Usman, Tassan, Talal, Ashur, Mr. Rupa, Mani, Nadeen, Baksuhel, Vaseem, Salah, Hidra, Amar, Tassan, Mujad, Mohit, Amur, Tassan, Abdul, Rashan, Abdul, Rashan, Abdul, Rashan, Griffiths, Adi, Ali, Bishar, Zinuman, Mufti, Mansoor, Rashan, Ajit, Batu, Greg, Prem, Vivek, Abran, Ali, Khinaf, Nano, Shah, Mohan, Rahan, Now we have 400 and 50 at the party and keep me that round. Are you ready? This is something very special. Today we have Mr. Ricardo. It does not need any introduction for my audience, but as it is as a formal thing, let's me just uh, give some background of Ricardo. He is passionate about transforming ideas into actions. He is chief advocate of project economy. He is specialist in implementing innovative global initiatives. capital projects and product development ricardo has directed dozen of projects across industries managing more than 20 billion project over past 25 years so a lot of experience here ricardo shares his expertise and that's how all of us know him he's passionate with millions of professional around the globe with this 5 minute podcast if you haven't watched guys you need to go to his channel and watch those 5 minute podcast i i'm among the top viewer whenever he releases the podcast i watch it he started hosting it in 2007 and reached 12 million views he has written 16 books on project management risk crisis management and transformation which have been translated into seven language and sold over a half a million copies ricardo has delivered 250 keynotes address in more than 40 countries he his influence on the sector was affirmed when he received the highest recognition of the project management institute pmo fellow award and i guess ricardo this is recent pmo fellow award is in yeah it was in december yeah Two, three December. months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, three months. So, Ricardo, first of all, thank you for giving your time. I understand how busy you are, and thank you for giving us time and talk out one of the most important topic that is nowadays: how AI can help projects manager. This is the talk of the town, and we all know with Chat GPT, everyone is now know that. ai is not just the future ai is present ai is going to revolutionize some people are even saying that it is better like it is bigger invention than maybe invention of fire wheel or slice and bread so can you put some light first of all how big this change is and how basically project managers can take benefit from this and guys if you have any question please feel free to put the question in the comments please Uh, hi, Amir. Thank you. Thank you very much. It, it's really a pleasure uh, to be uh, with you and also with uh, the fellow colleagues uh, in Asia and Middle East. And and for me, you know, I have an opportunity to share. I was just watching the video uh, of of your opening with the images of, of the people. So it's it's so nice uh, to have the chance to. support and and give some some thoughts so i i hope i can try i don't know if i can i would say i can try to clarify things but at least try to make sense of of what is going on so going on on your first comment about uh, chat gpt and and uh, its application in project management so let's just go one step back because everybody today talks about chat gpt but but chat gpt is not something that was created yesterday uh and and it's not something absolutely 
new. What is new? Is for the first time a, develop, a, a developer of powerful artificial intelligence mechanisms made it public. So people like you, like myself, could test it. Because, of course, uh, this uh, is a combination of many years of work. So at, if we go back uh, six months ago, everybody uh, was doing research on AI. But these research were, I would say, very specific and very, uh, uh, I would say, uh, connected to those on the technical field of AI. What ChatGPT uh, did was, you know, now anyone, anyone, the lawyer, anyone, the writer the, can use it. And this is what changed completely the game in the past, I would say, one and a half month or two months on this. So what, what is uh, artificial intelligence? Is when you use computers to emulate the brain and the cognitive uh, mechanisms inside the brain. And in order to respond as a human, uh, in order to have the complex thinking that a human has. And, and on chat GTP, this is so evident because when you are talking or, or writing on chat GPT and you receive the answers, it's stunning that this was a machine creating because it's such a fluent language. It's so easy to read. Uh, it, it's like a human. It, it will be very hard for people to make sense. I, 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 when we met in Dubai a couple of, of days ago, uh, Amir, I, I said that, you know, uh, chat GPT uh, being approved on an MBA at the University of Pennsylvania. So it means, you know, it, it's, uh, it's very powerful. And this will bring a lot of opportunities for us. At the same time, a lot of disruption to all of us and a lot of need for all of us to rethink what is project management, how do we manage projects, what is a project management office, and how do, you, do we handle that? And why I'm saying this, Amir? Because, for example, remember you asking questions about the state of your project. For example, I want to know you, Amir, uh, is a project manager. And then I just ask you, Amir, what's the status of a project? And then I need to schedule a meeting with you. You need to say, I need to prepare the information, everything. Today, I can have a chat GPT API connected to the database of your projects. For example, if you are using Microsoft Project Server, just to use as an, or Trello, or Jira, any, I connect the API and I don't need even to talk to you. I can just say, how is the budget of my project on chat GTP? And chat GTP can say, oh, the budget is in trouble. You need to take an action. And these are the possible actions. So I'm saying this is a reality. This is a reality that we are facing. So this will disrupt completely, I would say, uh, the, the supporting role on providing information because the information will be there and will be ready. So people will spend much more time analyzing and making decisions than collecting and trying to compile data in a nice way so people can understand. Yeah, what you just said, analyzing and this thing. I was going through your article and which you and Antonio has written together in HBR, how AI will transform project management. And I really liked how you started that article, like CEO is checking the progress and he's asking to the change management. That was really good. Now, coming to the point about collecting the data, one thing that is being said about the AI, and even Elon Musk retweeted it a few days back, behind the AI, still human power is there. The data is being collected 
by the humans now if we put all mm-hmm. the trust in ai and then there is no filter to make sure that there is no i understand it can you know, remove the human biasing but that human biasing that was there when we are analyzing the risk can still be there so how going forward as a project managers when we want to take a decision we can double check that that those things are not put into it and how those things are not damaging our overall project health uh i i didn't see that tweet but one thing is 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 sure garbage in garbage out so if data is incorrect wrong insufficient there is no ai that would create a solution for that i'm talking in open environments and real life environments for example in chess it's easy ai if you explain the rules ai can self learn uh, ai does not need uh, uh, someone to teach uh, uh, what's the best strategy this is what we call unsupervised training but in most of the real problems like project management like risk analysis uh, we need a supervised learning because ai does not know the problem with the weather until you provide some inputs then it can extrapolate on that so everything goes back to data you said one thing that i agree but not 100% let, let me explain people is, are still responsible for collecting data that is true however many machines many operations are already self collecting information without human interference for example an airplane sends information to airbus and to boeing without the pilot even knowing that that information exists or not you know it's it's just a process so many machines on uh, manufacturing many machines on for example construction when you you use techniques like bin uh, the modeling you know the process is automatically updated today there are cameras and sensors that update progress uh, of projects just by taking snapshots and that snapshot they measure they say it's 1 meter 2 meters 3 meters there is no way someone will interfere on that because it's just a fact based but uh humans will still be needed in many of these collections because not all of them will be machine collected because some of them uh, they are humans they are interface they are decisions that relies on humans and this is why uh, the interface will will still be uh, required and for sure one of the biggest challenges we'll see today is exactly the amount of and the quality of the data we have to to do ai for example chat gpt goes only back if i'm not wrong 2021 or 2020 so uh, uh, it yeah. knows the history of this but you cannot ask something that happened 200 years ago why because it's not ready yet of course it will be soon but not now so because data is still a big challenge i really like the analogy that we used in the dubai international project management forum somebody said it and it was beautifully articulated ai is now our small child he it's a toddler and we are working towards that and as a parents like humans or a project managers or a developer the persons who are feeding the data they need to make sure that we don't feed garbage in not to get garbage out we feed the right data and we need to work into that one of the question that i always get whenever we talk about ai is related to this okay in the future of the project management we can that it can help us to minimize the repetitive task and as we see by to as garland gartner says that by 2025 50% of the large enterprise will have deployed ai 
platform so operational ai up to like the work will be removed the repetitive task will be removed then we have a survey that says 88% of the companies that sees positive roi from ai train and enable known data scientists to leverage ai then again gartner says that organizations with diverse it business collaboration will deliver business outcome 25% faster than their competitors and we are hearing the same thing that if we don't adopt to ai just the people who did not made their websites or who think they were best in their business but they did not adopt with the facebook and all those thing they were outdated we know how amazon came and took over the market of like all the bookstores and then everything else do you think ai can do the disruption in that level and if if yes how it can help us in the future Yeah, uh, for me, I, I I truly believe that AI. Um, this is my personal opinion. AI is far more than blockchain, than the concept of metaverse, because AI is providing the brain and the platform, and and this is the difference. It, it's not just a different way of interaction between people like the metaverse. No, it's 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 like building a brain, you know that can be used. For example, today ChatGPT is a, it's a chat with intelligence. A Dolly that is also uh, owned by OpenAI transform Open ideas into images. images Others yes. uh, 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 transform uh, ideas into videos, and and this is the use of this artificial brain. and and i think this will disrupt completely the marketplace for me what happened in the past two months it's comparable to me uh and i'm using the word that uh, atlantic the magazine uh posted it's like when steve jobs released the iphone he disrupted the market he said look this is a phone this is an mp3 player uh and this is uh, um I think what out uh, the uh, a computer GPS, the and G- then he the put GPS, uh, yeah the GPS yeah. and then he put everything together. Yeah. I remember that, yeah. you know, and he changed the market for us today. GPS, it's it's we don't think about that, right? We don't. We just go and take and and we know everywhere in the planet how to go, how to proceed, how to find the roads. This is the brain. So AI is this the brain that will support different types of innovation. So what I believe, I believe that repetitive tasks will be the first one. Uh, I would say to be challenged. Why? It's n- it's just because it's easier. It's easier. Yeah. It's easier yeah. for me to use AI to do something that is repetitive than non-repetitive. Uh, it's easy mm. for me to use ai to work with numbers than to mm. work with text when i see chat gpt many people said i never thought that a computer could articulate language in such a beautiful way for a machine right a beautiful mm. and imagine that this is now imagine this in in 10 years so what what is important for us uh, i think that several several softwares programs platforms will appear very soon using ai to support project management to support project management in decision making in analyzing different scenarios in simulating different scenarios in predicting risks in do what one of the things that i like most is uh, a team profiling it means which team should should i join john and anna uh, or should i join amir and anna to have a, a better or should i i i join mohammed and akim to to give a better result and the ai will say look every time these two work it together you had a A, a delay every time the other two work together it was a saving time in doing this dynamically automatically in the chat 
So you will use this interface in a much more natural way. Instead of, for example, I need to prepare a report to put in the desk of my boss Monday morning so he or she can see uh, my report. There is no need. The report is there anytime. Anytime you want, the information is there, you will click. So this is what uh, will happen. And I don't doubt that probably in the future, AI will also help us, us, to manage the project, where we will say, look, uh, chat GPT, I have a problem, and this is the problem, this is the situation, what should I do? And then chat GPT will answer, yeah. And this is a big, big disruptive help this is that we can, instead of having a team, yeah. Yeah. So in other words, it can help us to make the decision, as you mentioned, which two team members can. I really like that uh, example. One of the challenges as a project managers, we have whom to couple with whom. And the, we have to follow the entire old stages of team, Tuckman ladder, like, okay, okay. But in this way, by profiling, we can use and this can help to make decisions in the project management. Now, this is a question which is being asked in every single domain. You mentioned that, okay, the first thing and the most easiest thing will be the repetitive task that is being, that may, AI may take over. As it was, it was mentioned in your article also, and it is being said that project manager can focus more on team building, more on coaching, more of as a servant leader, servant leader is instead of being an operational manager or looking on the operational issues. But this question has been asked every single time when a new technology comes up. It was when the when Henry Ford came with the car that people jobs will be lost, and then it again with the internet it it was like okay now the jobs will be lost, and with the tractor and every single technology. I'm an optimistic on when it comes to technology and i believe with ai we can have better jobs not the same jobs for sure for the for sure but do you think ai can replace the project manager yeah i, I think uh, before i answer we need to understand what will be a project manager what will be the role because we are thinking if you ask me today and say, oh, uh, I work as a project manager. Do you know what I do? I see it, I do a planning, I structure the planning, I, I fill a, a risk register, I prepare a report, I participate in meetings on, on my project. So probably 80 to 90% of these tasks will be done by AIs. It means if you continue being the same today, uh, then you will be replaced. However, this is exactly the reason of, on why we wrote the article, is that in the future, you need to revisit what project management is and how you can get to the results. And, and look, I work on this field for 25 years. When I started my PMP exam, and this was in 1998, I think, if I'm not wrong, okay, eight or nine, so this long time ago, at that time, successful project was a project that was delivered on time, on budget, within the scope and the quality. This is what we call the magic triangle. What I saw over time is that, you know, it's not only on time, on budget. If you deliver something that does not add any value to the organization, it's not a success. It's not. A success is about outcome. Then everything started to grow. And then instead of just saying, you know, I'm delivering, you gave me this task here. And then I'm delivering this on time on budget. I don't care what we'll do with that. This is how I learned it in the 90s. Now, what happened? What is the outcome? Will people use these airports, for example? Will people use? And then we ev evolve from outputs to outcomes. And this is why the PM Box 7th edition, all the changes, uh, even in the exams and everything. So what I'm telling you is that what will happen with AI is that 
the role of the project manager will change. Will will change to a more strategic decision making on deciding. Okay, what is the rationale behind, for example, the motivation of my team? Which kind of activities can I do to build a more cohesive team? Which kind of coaching, supporting, and mentoring do I need to do to deliver better? But not only saying, oh, how do I calculate the critical path? You know, of course, you should know because it's important, but a computer will do that for you. The computer can do that for you. And now you don't have to calculate critical path. So that is an interesting yeah. thing. We are having some interesting questions here. Let me take a few questions. Okay. okay, now sure. Sadia asked a cross question. You said that AI can help in making teams and what about giving chance to the people? Now what she's saying, let me reiterate. In, in her words, okay, by profiling the people, we are combining them. But what about hit and trial? Sometimes uh, some people learn along the way and they become a better chances. So what do you think? There we can also add in a new tool. A very good question, I would say. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, that that's that's perfect. Thanks, Aria, for your question. That question, I don't have an answer because now this question shows that AI is not fully perfect. And another thing that we discuss, and I, I recorded this in my podcast last week. I said, you know, bias, because AI. All these rules, if we go back to the beginning of my talk today, I said that it's mimic human brain. And human brain is not perfect. Human brain has yes. prejudice. Human brain has bias. So when you create this, uh, there is a chance that the machine you created comes with bias. If you ask, uh, 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 to, for example, chat a GPT to decide on three or four different CVs, okay, about who should be hired. There is a chance that chat GPT will say, oh, you know, I know that this kind of background or this kind of race delivers better and then discriminate other people. So this is a big, big challenge that we face. A big that we we by using AI we are not just removing that they they are now being automated, and when we fully trust on automation, uh, we have uh, the challenge of making these things uh, uh, much more challenging for us. So these and on the chances and this, I think also the work that we all do will change. So people, it's like when Henry Ford, you said, or when the Industrial Revolution happened. You know, people just changed the job. People are still alive, growing, and prospering. But you, you change. So one thing that we all need, and this is why I tell everybody, including myself, we need to adapt. We need to be able to adapt. You know, to adapt, to relearn, to adapt because otherwise it becomes very hard, uh, you know, uh, to survive in this environment. Yeah, a lot of questions are coming, but uh, we booked uh, Ricardo for 30 minutes. So we, Ricardo, just few things you have already answered with the major challenges uh, that we are facing. And then Kevin said that uh, feedback is important. Final thoughts on AI, Silva basically round up that session. How would you recommend us to yeah, I, I will, incorporate that that's easy first uh, instead of being afraid or instead of being passionate about ai go and know what is that go you need to open an account on chat gpt on open ai you must and test feel by yourself learn there are many coursera courses that are free of charge. Learn what is behind that. Because then you may have an opinion. You know what I see today? A lot of people saying, um, this is a big threat or this is uh, uh, our biggest ally, but people don't know what they are talking about. You need to know. For example, in the past month, I, I, I used ChatGPT 
probably maybe, I would say 200, 300 times asking all types of questions. Some of them nicely answered, some of them a disaster. But I know what I'm talking about. So I know which kind of things I can trust and rely and which I, I still need to wait. This is how you learn using and, and embrace. Don't be afraid because you cannot compete against this natural evolution. This is above and beyond all of us. We need just to adapt and, and be prepared for this changing environment. You know, there is Thank no you. way we can go against it. Yeah. We cannot go against. I really, I will end the session with the analogy that Ricardo used and I loved it. Like, your AI, the AI that is coming is just like brain and it will be trained, it will work as the brain do. We have to teach it, we have to work on it, we need to give it a better feedback to work into that and as Ricardo is saying my email for an invitation of Ricardo, I so I, I sent him the email and in the notes, I told him I wrote this email by chat GPT and he replied with, yeah. I, rep, I am replying it without chat GPT. This is what uh, Ricardo uh, just um, said that we need to use AI. We need to get familiarized. We need to adopt, become early adopter because we like it or we don't like it. Change is coming. So you can either coming. adopt that Absolutely. Change. You can learn from it, ride on that wave and become the better version or you can become obsolete. I don't want to be a naysayer and say that like Nokia or all other big giants who did not adopt because people always like to give the example of Nokia. But in my mind, Kodak example is even bigger than Nokia because they invented DSLR. They invented DSLR and they could not even use that. So don't be like them. Thank you, Ricardo. It was an honor thank to you. host you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I wish you all the best and all those attending. I wish you a lot of success. And, and let's be positive and let's adapt ourselves to the future, okay? Enjoy, enjoy your evening. Enjoy your afternoon. And see you next time. Thank you, Amir.